Okay, now that I've uh, got all my dimensions and I'll look at it, I, I want to go back and change um, a couple of these so it, it just it looks consistent all the way across. Uh, so I want to come up and edit this one. It's not what I wanted to do. Pull it back down a little bit, and let's see which one, this one here. And this one. Yeah, let's pull these back in just a little bit too. <clears throat> That way we've got a, a consistent look all the way across with everything. And, and that'll clean up nicely. Yeah, that looks pretty good there. Okay, so uh, we're going to dimension our holes over here in paper space. Um, so let's get our layers set back. And we were going to do that with our decimal dimension style. So we want to change that. And we'll start here with the first one. And even though it's a, got a lot of text going on in it, I'm still using my um, diameter dimension. And let's see, for this one, I think I want to do this one down here. All right, and so now I want to go in and, and do a text override. So if I just kind of double click on the text there. Um, and we're just going to type in just what the book has there, 4x. And it's a 1032 UNF-2B with a depth. And if you remember, our depth symbol was a lowercase x of uh, 0.5. Drill hole through. And then I'm going to hit delete to get rid of. text there and let's see we want to come over here and highlight the lowercase x and change my font type to the GDT font and let's see I want to select everything we'll go middle left all right so that looks good now you'll go ahead and do a edit the other two and then we want to kind of line these up visually you can draw your construction line to get them lined up uh, looking good so they're they're kind of equal distance off so I'm going to pause and then come back in just a moment <clears throat> okay so I got the uh, got my dimensions done here now if, if these were multi-leaders we could use the multi-leader align tool but we didn't do multi-leaders we did uh, dimensions you can do multi-leaders, but the thing to remember is when you've got a diameter dimension, the arrowhead should always point to the center of the circle. So that's why I usually don't do leaders when I'm dimensioning circles and things. Uh, so what, what we'll do just to line these up visually, get us really good, is I'm just going to put in a temporary line. And then I want to move and try and get it close, you know. And then delete that line out. Okay. Whoa, that moved the whole thing. I didn't like that. 
Let's back that up. There, that looked better. I was moving the whole uh, the whole thing instead of just the break. All right, so that's good. So, so I want you to fill in your title bar. The title just be rectangular coordinate dimensioning. Scale is a one to two. The date drawn by your your name. Size is an A size sheet. Drawing number ten dash thirty eight. Uh, we don't know the material, so that won't be in there. And then save that and submit it uh, in Blackboard. Great.